Okay, this is uh, from Tester's Trim, uh, April, and want to talk a little bit about uh, what I found. Here, I created a video. I'll be able to pause it here and uh, help out with a few things. So, uh, yeah, stop it there. Um, so he was uh, had tack trim for. 2020, so just uh, over a year, uh, and then December of this past year, um, he was uh, not tack trimmed, but trimmed by a conventional or traditional, I don't even know what you call it, uh, trimmer. He'd had a abscess and um, tack trimming wasn't available to him, so he was four months. Um, in that situation, and I'm sharing this video. He's back on tack. Uh, April was his first trim, and I want to show you some changes that happened. So, um, the first thing I just did a video here of the per before the trim, and some things to look at. If I pause it here, uh, this is the trim that had, or this is the foot that had the abscess. Uh, we can see his toes are long, which they were. They're about three and a half inches, and uh, heels are under run. So I would assume he had his heels trimmed and his dorsal wall left long. Uh, this is the foot that had the abscess, and it was some surprising things happen with this foot. Looks way better, believe it or not. Um, I'll, as nasty as abscesses are, uh, <clears throat> believe it allowed his capsule to move more quickly and better match his internal foot. So something I also noticed here is the difference between this guy and this. You see from this spot here back how much more there is of this area versus this little bit of area here. This is also, um, I mean, it's still pulled down under. But definitely he's got his his cartilage is uh, in a better position here than it is being more pulled down on his left front. He actually showed some unsoundness uh, before the trim on uh, actually both uh, front feet. Um, so yeah, let's let's keep going here. I didn't finish that, but I was talking about right front looking the, the collateral cartilage is what I was really noticing. So we can see some self trimming somewhat or some um, cracking due to the pressure. This would have been because he uh, heels were trimmed out, uh, toes left long, really seeing the bull nosing coming back again. And what was really interesting was his soul, how his soul was sucked up and his frog was deep and that just supports <clears throat> or makes sense that the internal foot um, was being pushed up as this came in here and this came down here, it folded and the internal foot gets pushed up. So, okay, and then we're going to start into uh, the left front sole. So this was from um, Left Front Soul, September 2020. So this was just before, I think December was his last tack trim. But we can see we're looking for things like uh, his bars are getting straighter in this case. Uh, he was very sound at this point. He went through some unsoundness for a little bit, but at this point he was walking on gravel um, and quite sound. But it, obviously there were still some corrections still had an issue with a long dorsal uh, wall. Um, his wrong position, uh, his, he's got just too much out in the front and that makes sense because his heels are still under run. But health of his frog dramatically increased. Lots of good things here. So the next shot is before the trim. So that was before the trim uh, in uh, April. This is looking a little bit like when I first 